So the next thing we have right here, we have our curves. We can use our curves to add contrast to the image. So if I take my curves all the way up like this, I'm adding brightness to the image. And if I take it all the way down like this, I'm adding, I'm making the image look dark. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to create an S curve to add contrast to this image. So I'm just going to right click right here to remove this point I just did. So once I remove that point, I'm just going to click right here and click right here. And I'm just going to bring this point up like this a little bit. And I'm going to bring this point all the way down like this to create an S curve to add contrast to this image. And that's not all you can do with the curves. You can add specific color to a particular place on the image. So for the reds, if I take my reds up like this, I'm adding reds to the image. And if I take my reds all the way down, I'm adding greens to the image. Why for the greens? If I take it all the way up, I'm adding greens to the image. And if I take it all the way down, I'm adding magentas to the image. Because the opposite of greens is this magenta. Why for the blues? If I take it all the way up, I'm adding blues to the image. And if I take it all the way down, I'm adding yellows to the image. So I'm going to show you how to use this um, curves tool right here. So I'm just going to undo everything. So first of all, just come to your Luma and create an S curve to add contrast to your image. So I'm just going to take this one up like this. And I'll take this one down like this to create an S curve. And for the reds, I'll create an S curve for the reds as well. I'll take the reds up like this. And I'll take this part all the way down like this. And for the greens, I'll do the same thing. I'll create an S curve. I'll take the greens all the way up. And um, I'll take it all the way, this shadow side all the way down like this. You can see it's complementing for this red I just did. And for the blues, I'll do the same thing. I'll create an S curve. So I'll just take the shadow area down and I'll take the highlight area up like this. And let's see our before and after. So these are before and these are after. So if you notice, you can see the image is looking too contrasty. So what I'm going to do right now, I'll come back to my reds and I feel the reds on the, um, the greens of the shadow is too much. So I'm just going to reduce it. So I'm just going to click here and reduce it a little bit like this until the image look good. So I'm just going to reduce it a little bit and for the greens I'm just going to take the greens for the highlights down like this I'm just going to remove magentas from the shadow a little bit like this why for the blues I think I'm just going to remove yellows from the shadows like this so I think I like it like this and uh, I think I like it like this why for this uh, my contrast I'll just since I feel the image is too contrasty like this I'll just come back to my levels and just try to make the image less contrasty by taking my sliders all the way back a little bit like this. So I feel I like it like this. So let's see our before and after. These are before and these are after. You can see where we are right now. This is where we started from and this is where we are right now. Mind you, you don't have to um, use everything I'm just doing. I'm just showing you guys how to use Capture One. So this is how to correct your image. So this is, these are the basic adjustments we did. So right now I feel the image is looking a bit dark. So I just bring my brightness all the way up a little bit like this. And I come back to my dynamic range and just take my highlights all the way down. Like this and open up my shadows a bit. And bring down my blacks a bit. Okay, I like it like this. These are before and these are after. So we've successfully corrected this image. So the next step we're going to do, we're going to be color grading this image right here. So to color grade your image, all you have to do is come to your color tab right here so once you have your color tab the first thing you can do you can decide to change um the accessory profile of your image which means this uh, image right here was shot with the nikon 6d mark ii and if i want to change the accessory profile i can just click on show all and i can choose which um kind of camera i want this image to look like so let's say i want it to look like the sony a7 i'll just come down here and click on sony and choose the kind of sony i want so i want sony a7 feel and just click on standard so you can see before and the after you can sort up to the image or let's say i want this image to look like a nikon i can just choose nikon right here and just choose any brand of nikon i want um for the sake of this i think let's just see so you can see the um effect see the before this is the after just look at the image you can so you can choose any kind of camera you want so the more you just play with it, that's what this SSC profile sleeping means. But I think I'm just going to leave this one default because I feel the image is okay like this. So right here, we still have our white balance, which I know I'm not going to use because I've already adjusted my white balance. And right here, we have our color editor. 
so this color editor simply means you can choose whichever color you want to adjust so let's say for example i want to adjust the greens of this image i'll just click on my greens right here and i can play with the hue and the saturation of the greens so you can see the greens the hue and saturation of the greens i want to play with the blues i just click on the blues right here and just play with the hue of the blue so you can see the gene is changing you can play with the saturation i can play with the lightness so if i want to make it dark i can just bring my lightness all the way down if i want to make it bright i can just bring my bright li uh, lightness all the way up like that and i can make the image uh, i can reduce the saturation of the image like this so that's it why this one right here is um the general hue and saturation this color right here is for the general hue and saturation so if i just move the hue and saturation like this you can see the whole image is changing so this is general hue and saturation which we don't really use so this is for the basic and also we have the advanced so for the advanced if you don't know the particular color on the image you want to adjust you can just click on advanced and click on this color picker tool so once you click on it just pick on any color you want to change let's say for example i want to pick on this um um greens right here i don't know these colors are greens so i'll just click on the greens and you can see this color picker tool um automatically detects the color right there for me and i can just play with the um hue and saturation of the um color which which is green so you can see i can play with the hue and saturation i can play with the um lightness as well and i can just play with it and see what happened so if i don't want this um selection to spread to other color that are similar to this um green which i picked i can just remove i can just reduce the smoothness and also i can just shrink it a little bit so that it will affect only the color which i choose so if i adjust other colors that are that another color is not going to adjust so i hope you understand so i'm just going to undo that and it will come back to skin tone in a bit is uh, a little bit advanced so we'll come back to that so the next thing we have right here is our color balance so first of all right here we have the master so this master simply means anything we do is going to affect the whole of the image so that's what this master is why right here as well we have the shadows we have the mittens and we have the highlights so this simply means we can actually add a particular colors to our mittens our shadows and our highlights so let's say i want to add a little bit of blues to my shadows because i like adding blues to my shadows so i just bring this um cycle to the blue side like this so if i want to increase the density or this um, intensity i can just drag it closer to the blues like this or i can take it away for the blues to reduce the intensity so if i want a lot of blue on the shadows i'll just take it all the way in like this but if i want less blues on the shadows i'll take it all the way back so i think i like it like this you can also use this ladder to increase the, the intensity so you can just push this one in like this and you can see that thing is still moving to increase the intensity and bring it down to increase the intensity so you have more control over your the colors of your image but i think i like it like this and also for this side you can make it look a little bit brighter so if i take it all the way up you can see i'm making it a little bit bright and if i take it all the way down i'm making it a little bit dark so i think i'll just leave it in the default why for the highlights i like to add warm fill to my highlights so i'll just take this um thing all the way to the um yellow side like this to add warmth and just move these sliders up to add, to add a little bit of intensity to the highlight but i don't want to do too much so i think i'm going to stop here and i think i'm just going to make it a little bit brighter or let's say darker Oh, I'm just going to leave it like that. Why for the mittens? I think I'm just going to add a little bit of oranges to the mittens. So I'll just take it to the orange side like this and just take it, increase the intensity like this. So I think I like it like this. So let's see, let's move this tango between our before and after. These are before and after, before and after, or before and after. So I think I'm liking this image like this. So that's all for this color balance. Or you can come to the third way if you want to adjust if you want to be adjusting the highlight and shadow at the same time so the same thing we do here we can also do it here here is the mid tones here is the shadow and here is the highlight so it's the same thing which i explained right here just that right now they are all in one place so that's all for the color balance why right here we have the white and black so once you just click on white and black you are enabling white and black so that's all you need to color grade your image in capture one and i think i'm just going to work on this uh image a little bit so for the blues i don't like the way this, these blues are i'm just going to reduce the saturation of the blues and just warm it a little bit because i like that warm feel i think saturation is too much so i'm just going to reduce the lightness as well oh i think i'm just going to put lightness up 
yeah i like i like the feel like this so i'm just going to leave the um goods like this so that's the only adjustment i'm going to make for this image so i talked about um skin tone 